Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to pass an engineering interview and in particular I'm going to give you sample interview questions with unique answers to help you prepare. So if you have any kind of engineering interview coming up, um, I guarantee this tutorial is going to help you pass. Now, before I get into the questions and answers, a very warm welcome to this tutorial. As I say, my name is Richard McMahon, that's me there on the right hand side. I'm a former fire officer um, and I'm now an interview expert who helps people like you to successfully pass their interviews. And in this video, we're going to focus on the engineering interview and I am going to give you unique answers to the questions during your interview. So please stick around from beginning to end because I feel very confident it's going to help. As normal, please do make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already by clicking the red button below the video. Also, if you do enjoy these tutorials, I would very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Thank you very, very much. Okay, let's get straight into it. So pretty much the first question during your engineering interview will be, tell me about yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this slightly tougher. So it's going to be, tell me about yourself and why you would make a good engineer within this particular role. So there's two different elements to this question. Now, with all of the interview questions that I'm going to cover during this engineering tutorial, I'm going to give you two tips. OK, so I'll give you a couple of really strong tips to help you structure your answer correctly. And then I'll give you my suggested response. Number one. Focus your answer on your work-related abilities as opposed to your home life. Now, in a lot of these kind of interviews, people will sit there and go, well, this is what I do at home and this is about my family. Um, the interview panel are not interested. They are interested in your work-related abilities. So my advice is to focus purely on those. So a passion for engineering, a desire to continually develop and improve, and also an analytical mind and innovative way of approaching problems are all positive attributes of an engineer. So my advice is to utilize those in your response. Now, make sure you show the interview panel you are someone who is a match for what they are looking for from a competent engineer. And here's how to do this within your answer to this question. So just to recap, the interview question is, tell me about yourself and why you would make a good engineer within this particular role. Here we go. I am someone who is extremely passionate about engineering and I have a thorough understanding of the requirements of the role. Having studied the job description and the person specification in detail, I am confident I have the necessary experience and attributes to carry out this engineering role to the standards necessary whilst operating with safety at the forefront of my mind at all times. I am a solid problem solver, a great communicator and someone who will work tirelessly to solve difficult and complex problems quickly and efficiently. I understand you need someone within this role who can be trusted to carry out the required practical and technical engineering work. If you hire me for this engineering role, I'm confident you'll be more than satisfied with my strong work ethics, my technical knowledge and my practical abilities. So that's, um, that, that's a clear, logical um, an in-depth response to that question. And if you utilize that at the beginning of your engineering interview, then in my opinion, you are getting off on the right foot. And that will also give you the confidence to move on and answer the rest of the questions, which I'm going to work through right now. Now, if you would like a copy of these interview questions and the answers, stick around because I'll tell you where you can download them and you can get access to them within a couple of minutes time. Okay, next engineering interview question is, what qualities do you need to become a competent engineer. So they are basically assessing whether you understand the kind of qualities and attributes that a good engineer needs. So again, two important tips to help you structure a great answer to this question. My advice is to grab a copy of the engineering job description and person specification for the particular role that you are being interviewed for. Now, for the majority of engineering roles, they will put a job advert out and a job description with a person specification. You need to get a copy of this. Get a copy of those documents. Once you have them, highlight the key qualities required to carry out the role and utilize them within your answer. So as you read through that document, it will tell you the qualities that you need to perform the role competently. Number two, engineering requires many qualities and attributes, far more than the majority of jobs. Engineering takes a, a particular skill set and different attributes, so we need to cover them all in this answer. So my advice is to list all of them within your response and then explain why they are important. And here's how to do this 
within a suggested answer. So what qualities do you need to become a competent engineer? Here we go. The qualities needed are many and varied. However, for me, the nine most important qualities an engineer will need in this particular role are being able to operate safely at all times whilst following rules and procedures, an analytical approach to working, an ability to remain calm under pressure, and also an ability to evaluate complex problems on a small, medium or large scale. You also need great communication skills because most people you communicate with will not understand technical information or jargon. You need a willingness to take responsibility for your actions, an ability to plan ahead and organise tasks efficiently, and also a desire to continually evaluate and improve systems to make them more efficient. Finally, you need a personal desire to keep up to date with industry developments and to also develop yourself professionally as your time within the engineering role progresses. So another solid response um, to the engineering interview question. What qualities do you need to become a competent engineer? Let's take a look at another one. As our engineer, you will be faced with problems to solve on a regular basis. Talk me through the basic steps of problem solving. Two tips to this question. Make sure you have a predetermined basic plan for solving problems. If you have a plan already to disclose, then you're going to come across as someone who is organized and thorough in your approach to solving engineering problems. So make sure you have a predetermined basic plan. Number two, at the end of your answer to this engineering interview question, make sure you discuss your desire to prevent the problem from happening again, if possible, through training and development. So I'll just reiterate what I mean by that. At the end of the answer, make sure you discuss that you have a desire to prevent the same problem from happening again. And this can be done through training and development of staff. Here's my suggested answer to the question. So as our engineer, you'll be faced with problems to solve on a regular basis. Talk me through the basic steps of problem solving. I always use the same fundamental steps when solving any form of engineering problem. These are defining the problem and gaining clarity of the issue, confirming the exact problem by utilizing all relevant facts and information available, then diagnosing the problem and then rectifying the cause and then finally the testing stage. Now, depending on the circumstances or the situation, I would also consider the training stage. Now, training may have to be carried out by the user if they need to be guided in the correct operation of the tool, the resource or the system, that encountered the initial problem in the first place. Now that response puts you across as somebody who is organized, they know what they're talking about, and they have the right technical ability to solve the problem. But more importantly, you, you, you care about it not happening again. Okay, next question of our engineering interview. What safeguards do you put in place to ensure the work you do is both safe and compliant? So obviously safety is really, really important. Two tips. Safety is the most important aspect of engineering and it should be a prominent feature in some of your answers to the interview questions, if not all of them. There is no room for cutting corners within the engineering industry. So show the panel you are a competent and safe engineer. Tell the interview panel you already have a system in place for ensuring every task you undertake is both safe and compliant. Because if they ask you this question and you're like, well, I'm not really sure you say, well, sometimes I do this or sometimes I do that. That doesn't show that you've already considered the safeguards. But if you go, yes, I already have something in place, you will score far higher. So here would be my answer to the question. What safeguards do you put in place to ensure the work you do is both safe and compliant? Here we go. I basically do two things at the end of every engineering task I work on. Firstly, I utilize my error-free check sheet. This is something one of my first tutors at university, university shared with the class one day. And it's a vital resource for ensuring everything is safe, correct and compliant. Secondly, I get a second pair of experienced eyes to look over my work. As this not only provides a reassuring confirmation that my work is safe, but having another engineer analyse my work might find a better, more efficient way of achieving the desired results. The bottom line is... I take safety and compliance extremely seriously and I would always utilize my double check method for ensuring all work I do is both safe and compliant. Okay, now before I come on to the last question, I've got one more engineering interview question and answer to share with you. 
Um, I'll put a card up here in the top right hand corner. If you click that link at any time, you can access my website and download all 20 engineering interview questions and answers. So the ones that I'm covering right now on top of another 15. Okay, next question. During a last engineering project, what problems did you encounter and how did you overcome them? So this, is, this requires a specific answer of an experience that you've been in. Two tips. As an engineer, you will need a resilient and determined mindset in order to overcome the many and varied problems and challenges you will face. So what you need to do is demonstrate to the interview panel through a specific previous experience you are capable of overcoming challenges. So here's my suggested answer to the interview question. During your last engineering project, what problems did you encounter and how did you overcome them? Here we go. During my last engineering project, we encountered problems with a client who continually asked for changes to the specification at reduced cost. Now the client was becoming increasingly demanding and although we had made a couple of changes to the specification already, he kept asking for more. Now it got to the point where I felt the project was in danger of becoming unsafe if we made further changes and so I arranged a conference call to explain to him my concerns. Now during the call I remained calm and politely explained the consequences of cutting corners from a safety perspective and also the potential ramifications if things went wrong. I also explained how it could possibly impact negatively on his organisation if anything dangerous happened. And this would obviously cause issues from a negative news situation. As soon as I mentioned the potential problems, he totally changed his tone and he agreed to stop requesting unreasonable demands. From my perspective, it is really important to be upfront and honest when dealing with clients during any project and safety must always come first no matter what. So you can download those 20 engineering interview questions by clicking that card in the top right hand corner or if you click the link directly below the video it will take you through to my website passmyinterview.com. You can go straight, to, straight through to my engineering interview questions and answers page and download these questions and you can start learning and implementing them in your um, engineering interview straight away. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Um, and if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments section below and I always come on here each day and help people. So thank you for watching everybody and I wish you all the very best in your pursuit to passing your engineering interview. Thank you.